Hello YouTube, how about that? It's Deco, welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Star Online 2. Um, we didn't really do anything the last time I recorded this, mainly because, well, it was just the pre-open beta. A lot of stuff's changed since then. Um, for those of you that are playing this game, there is no English patch yet. Um, they're working on it. Uh, although Sega of Japan did announce that they are bringing... Fantasy Star Online 2 to the Western countries, Europe and America. Um, Europe and America are going to be sharing the same server, which is good. Um, so we're not completely cut off from the rest of the world. The bad news is, is we're not going to be with... Uh, we're not going to be with the Japanese, which is both a blessing and it's kind of a curse. Um... It's a blessing because, in one way, because we will be able to, everyone on there will be able to speak the same language. Um, there shouldn't be that big of a communication barrier. Um, with the Japanese, however, not everyone in Japan speaks English, which is kind of a problem. Um, also, America and Europe sh sort of share the same, uh, they sort of share the same rules when it comes to gambling, which is kind of the big thing. Um, Desert Wu. Um, there's a lot of things that, uh... There's a lot of things that the... That the Japanese do that the Americans don't. Um... A lot of that being, uh... Some of this text that they have in game. Um, that's a big one. That being a big one, uh, their America's big on, you know, sensitivity and touchy feely bullshit. So I'm sure there's something in the Japanese language that is going to offend Americans or something way you should perform. I don't really know. I'm not... I don't really get offended from stupid crap like that. Ow. I mean, I'm looking forward to an English client because then I can actually understand what the hell I'm doing instead of having to memorize instead of having to memorize, you know... Having to memorize, uh... Whatchamacallit, menu items, buttons, combinations. I mean, I can just read it and I'll know what the hell is going on. Um, I don't know if the guys who are, co who are trying to make the English patch are still going to do it when the rest of the comes out. Um, hopefully they will, but... Maybe they won't. Depends on... Because if the English client comes out and they're not even done, then I don't see a point in them continuing. But, yeah, we'll see. I think it'd be really cool if you could transfer your characters over, so everyone who, is, who has been playing so far doesn't really have to lose any progress, but, I mean... We'll see. I don't think they'll do that, though, because I guess that wouldn't really be fair to new players who are coming in, because a bunch of people had already been playing this game. So I can see how that would kind of not be really fair. Not to say that leveling is hard in this game, it's actually quite the opposite. Leveling is actually not bad. Leveling is actually pretty easy. It would actually just be great to understand what's going on. Stop. But then I'll be able to play with all of my friends and fun stuff like that, so I won't be completely by myself, and 
the English community can 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 have each other and fun stuff too. Yeah. Ow. Hey, my mag heals me. Thanks, buddy. Uh, with the July update, um, the big one is that they have mines. Um, I'm not quite there at the mines yet. I haven't actually been playing in a while. I kind of lost interest in playing Fantasy Star Online 2 since I don't understand what the hell's going on. Um, and just, you know, doing missions over and over again blindly. I mean, it's... To me, it just seemed a little boring, but other people say differently. Other people say that this is one of the best games they've ever played. Which is fine, I mean... This is kind of a, this is a, kind of a very casual game, as you don't really need to... It's a very casual sort of game, so there's not really a whole lot of need to... You know, if you don't play for a couple of days, I don't really think you'll be missing much. I haven't played in a while, and I'm really not missing much either. Aside from maybe not draining the game of its resources. Um, right now this level is called The Desert. Um, kind of the new Fantasy Star area. Um... It's not, uh... They have caves, they have forest, they have mines, um... I'm sure eventually, uh, we'll see the ruins, and maybe a few other new places, which would be kinda cool. But... So far, they just have, uh, mines as the new place you can go to. Um, they did bring it back the Sinnoh Beats, that's pretty cool. Um, they actually kind of improved the Sinnoh Beats, so the Sinnoh Beats actually look a little bit better. Um, so, we'll see what happens over there when I eventually get to the mines. I'm sure you have to complete... I haven't even done the, the boss for this place yet, uh, which is a giant fucking transformer robot that apparently there's multiple ways of beating it which I'm interested to see how that's going to work Apparently, there's two forms to the giant fucking Transformer boss. Um, you can uh, either beat it one way, or you can beat it another way. for Gundam! Um, so, I guess we'll eventually we'll get to that boss pretty soon. Um, which will be really fun. Ah, it scared me. Damn, Darkers!
Bad day. Bad day. Bad day. I still don't understand how a robot can get poisoned. I wanted experience, but I didn't want it like this. One down. This should have been a code, man. I'm telling you. Jesus Christ. Fucking finally. Jesus. That was ridiculous. And I died! Mother crap! He one hit KO'd me. That little bitch. Oh, so much for getting an S rank. That's not happening now. dying it bothers me can't even use that mm. 
Now my mag probably hates me. Goodness gracious. That's ridiculous. I see you, you frickin' thing. Desert 2! Oh, it's the open world one. Okay. just stay here for a while and just piggyback on people and just gain experience that way. But that's not any fun. The cool thing about this is that everyone gets the same experience with those if you've killed anything or not, and everyone gets the same everyone gets the same item, so I mean there's no stealing items, which is always a big thing in Fantasy Star Online. First one, not the second one, obviously. I don't even know what my mission is. Maybe it's just to complete the code and go on and. Luria! Luria! And the retarded thing about Fantasy Star Online 2 when it's scripts released stuff, there's not going to be any cool voiceovers like there is now. It's all just going to be frickin' text. Which kind of bothered me, because, you know, it was actually was the really cool thing about this game, is that, you know, Dude joined my party. I don't know who this person is. I don't. I just don't know. I'm killing my own kind. It must be genocide.
for now. Oh, well, that's him. That's something. That's something I'm looking for. Do Okay. Oh, there's one. Oh, good, he's helping. Hooray. The whole thing is fun. I'll pipe! Okay. Kill all the things! I always hate collect missions, man. They're annoying. I don't like playing with people. They know not what they do. How did, how did you get through? Ah, how? stuck. That 
that was some awesome mid-air aiming. Uh, code completed. Um, we completed the quest, which is always fun. Um, I think that'll just about do it for uh, this episode of Fantasy Star Online 2. Um, remember, kids, Cat's Lock is true control. Um, So yeah, alright, um, so that like this video, go ahead and leave a like, this video even more, go ahead and subscribe, um, and our next episode we'll just continue doing whatever it is we do in Fantasy Star Online 2, because there's no real story first stuff. So yeah, um, I will see you guys then, 